Hello and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. It's going to be on a task that a lot of people have asked me to reproduce. This is how to make proxies for magic uh, that don't look like proxies, that are custom art, whatever you want. Here we go. This is just an example of some of the stuff I've created over the last year um, based on a lot of requests that I get. Again, I don't sell these. They're not. I'm not making any money off of this. This is just a fun activity. It spices up the decks that we play with. So just making the game fun. So you can see there's a lot of different styles out there, but this time I'm going to go with just a, a simple beast tracker. Um, a new card that came out is pretty good for one of the new commander decks I'm playing. So basically I want to scryfall here. Here's all the information, you know, triple click the info, copy paste it, and I'm using Photoshop for this effort. So I've already taken all the information. I pasted it in there. You can see it from the text there. I can grab, highlight whatever I want. So I've already changed it. Instead of saying enter the battlefield, I changed it to ETB. Stuff like that just makes it simple. Now for putting in the art. This is the spot where most people have an issue with. Um, I've heard of people spending 40 minutes on a card. I mean, that's amazing. That I, I couldn't do that. So what I did here, to this, what this really is, is an intro to show you how to do these things. I'm going to grab a piece of art. This is the art that I've selected for this. Let's make sure everything's set. And I'm going to drag that piece of art onto the Photoshop, and I'm going to size it the way I want. So this is basically how I want this art to come out. Looks pretty good. Overlap looks good. Now I'm going to send this layer to the back, and you'll see why here in a second. So make sure I hit place it. Yep, placed. Move it all the way down to the bottom. So that is layer one. You can see it's where it's going to look like in the back when it's done being overlapped. And I always focus on overlapping the top. It just makes the cards look better. Now, by putting it in the back here, I, I realize I'm going to move it a little bit. I want it moved over. Okay, that looks about good. Then I'm going to grab that same layer, and I'm going to throw it all the way at the top. And you can do this with any art program out there that, that does layer modification. So looking at the art again, art looks pretty good. Uh, the cosplayer there looks really good, but it's not quite uh, dark enough. When you put these in sleeves, you're going to see that you need more vibrant colors. So I'm just going to hit it real quick, increase the contrast a little bit, Actually, a lot. Um, see if I can change the brightness. No, that looks pretty good at zero. So that's done. So that is now I'm calling a perfect layer. I'm going to merge those layers so I don't mess with any of the other. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. Very important. You want two layers of the exact same thing. Might not make sense now, but I'll show you in a second. So throw one layer all the way in the back because that is your background now. And go up and mess with the top one. So and I'm going to turn the video, the view on this on and off. You can see what it will look like. And since they're exact duplicates, they all line up and everything. Great. So now is when we start deleting stuff. Watch this. Delete. You have all your text. Go up to the top. Highlight here. Highlight all the stuff that you don't want. Yep. Common error. There. That seems to grab perfect. Delete that. Click off of it again, grab this side, delete. Okay, we're done. That's really all there is to it. So that piece of art is done. Now all I have to do is file save it as. Save it as a specific beast tracker. Yep, that's fine. Actually, I want to save it as a JPEG so I can import it again. So I'm just going to throw it in a folder here. Yep, full scale size, no problem. Now I'm going to, I want to print this. I want to go to Walmart and print it. So I made a little photo template here that I'm going to go open that folder that I was just at. Here's that piece of art. I'm going to drag it back into Photoshop and I'm going to size it to what it will print like perfectly inside of a sleeve. Now I'm printing this on photo paper. Again, duplicate the layer because I'm probably going to have more than one copy of this in a deck. So copy it over there. There we go. And now it's ready. This is what you save as a JPEG, take to Walmart, and print out at the little kiosk there. Now, when you're printing not in person and you do the one-hour photo, they check all your art. They want to make sure there's no nudity or violence or any of that crap. Um, and then they just hand you the things. So I would say it's cheaper doing the one-hour photo print. And if you're doing like 20 or 30 of them at a time, that you know it's definitely the cheapest way to go. So 